Hi, I'm Aisha. You are watching Educational Hub. Write the abstract at the very end, when you've completed the rest of the text. There are four things you need to include. Research problem and objectives. Methods. Key results or arguments. Your conclusion. First we need to understand. What is abstract? An abstract is a short summary of a longer work, such as a dissertation or research paper. The abstract concisely reports the aims and outcomes of your research so that readers know exactly what the paper is about. An abstract is usually around 150 to 300 words, but there's often a strict word limit, so make sure to check the requirements of the university or journal. Okay, now going to main topic. How to write an abstract. The word count is within the required length, or a maximum of one page. The abstract appears after the title page in acknowledgments and before the table of contents. I have clearly stated my research problem and objectives. I have briefly described my methodology. I have summarized the most important results. I have stated my main conclusions. I have mentioned any important limitations and recommendations. Okay. The abstract can be understood by someone without prior knowledge of the topic. 1. Aims. Start by clearly defining the purpose of your research. What practical or theoretical problem does the research respond to, or what research question did you aim to answer? You can include some brief context on the social or academic relevance of your topic, but don't go into detailed background information. This part of the abstract can be written in the present or past simple tense but should never refer to the future, as the research is already complete. For example, this study will investigate the relationship between coffee consumption and productivity, is wrong statement. This study investigates the relationship between coffee consumption and productivity, is correct. 2. Methods. Next, indicate the research methods that you used to answer your question. This part should be a straightforward description of what you did in one or two sentences. It is usually written in the past simple tense as it refers to completed actions, for example, structured interviews will be conducted with 25 participants, is wrong statement. Structured interviews were conducted with 25 participants, is correct. 3. Results. Next, summarize the main research results. This part of the abstract can be in the present or past simple tense. For example, our analysis has shown a strong correlation between coffee consumption and productivity, is wrong. Our analysis shows a strong correlation between coffee consumption and productivity, is right. Our analysis showed a strong correlation between coffee consumption and productivity, is also correct. 4. Conclusion. Finally, state the main conclusions of your research. What is your answer to the problem or question? The reader should finish with a clear understanding of the central point that your research has proved or argued. Conclusions are usually written in the present simple tense. For example, we concluded that coffee consumption increases productivity, is wrong. We conclude that coffee consumption increases productivity, is correct statement. 5. Keywords. If your paper will be published, you might have to add a list of keywords at the end of the abstract. These keywords should reference the most important elements of the research to help potential readers find your paper during their own literature searches. Thank you for watching. I hope you can easily understand how to write abstract in research paper. Like, share, and subscribe my channel for more informative videos about research.